Honorable Speaker, I was waiting for the member for Budalangi to finish with his very loud advisory to the member for Madeira. <laughs> now that this is done, I am sure he, he, I have his attention that on NGCDF we cannot afford to compromise, not for the benefit of members of parliament. And we must never make it look to the world like members of parliament have an interest in NGCDF. We only have the interest of the people who send us here to represent them, not NGCDF. We actually would not care whether there is NGCDF or not if they made sure that Basari money was in the, with the people that we represent. We would not care. It is our work to resolve issues that of concern to the people of Kenya and the people that we represent. Therefore, what the leader of minority is raising is on behalf of the 290 of us who are charged with the responsibility of resolving issues that are of concern to the people. And there is no issue now that is of greater concern to the people than them getting access to education for their children come January. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, I have already engaged with the Cabinet Secretary in charge of the National Treasury and the State Department of Planning and the NGCDF uh, board, uh, the, the, the NGCDF uh, CEO. Uh, unfortunately, uh, here the uh, <laughs> Deputy Whip saying and GAF. I have not engaged with GAF, but since it also falls under the same State Department, they have indicated that they are actually in the process of working on disbursement so that by the time we break, Yes, uh, Honorable Speaker. Members proceed, Majority Leader. No, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Members, the matter is uncontested. Everyone is in agreement. So just allow the Majority Leader to complete his statement. You know, Honorable Speaker. Majority, you are right, but you are revealed to our room quarters. Honorable Speaker, if, if, uh, if members can allow me to finish, because as, as the Speaker has indicated, this matter is not contested by anybody, not even the leader of majority. That is why I took the liberty even before the matter was raised before the House, because you all forget that I represent the people of Kikuyu, first and foremost. I don't, I, and I have said it numerously. I don't sit here to represent, I don't represent government. I don't, neither do I represent the cabinet secretary for the national treasury. I don't work for them. I work for the people of Kikuyu. And when it comes to, when it comes to an issue, when, when, when it comes to an issue where there is conflict, when an issue comes where there is conflict between a cabinet secretary, a principal secretary, a chair of a board, or even the CDF CEO, and the people of Kikuyu, the people of Kikuyu take greater precedence than anyone else. That is why I'm pleading with you, you allow me to finish, because what, what was I saying in conclusion? We, I have already engaged with the Cabinet Secretary, telling the Cabinet Secretary precisely that. That there is now a situation where there is a conflict of interest between his work as a Cabinet Secretary and the Principal Secretary in charge of the National Treasury, the Director General in charge of Accounting Services, who is in charge of disbursing money, the Principal Secretary in charge of National Planning, the CDF, CEO, and the people of Kikuyu. And I indicated to the cabinet secretary that by Thursday we... Listen. As the leader of minority said, 
without anticipating debate. Without doing what? Without anticipating debate. Honorable Speaker, again without anticipating debate,